Hey, what's up, guys? It's Matt King with Funnel.Works. Uh, big news, uh, Apple Pay and Android Pay are now working with ClickFunnels. I just got a confirmation uh, on the Q&A calls from ClickFunnels. So here's how that's going to work. First of all, you do need to go into your Stripe account um, before you do anything at all. So what you're going to do, if you have ClickFunnels set up, you're going to have to have Stripe set up. So when you guys have Android Pay, or Apple, at least with Apple Pay, um, you're going to have to go into Stripe. You're going to have to have that set up. You go into your, your accounts. Go to over here to the left where it says Home, Payments. Go to Payments in the left-hand column. And down here where it says Apple Pay, you're going to click on Apple Pay. And you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff popped up here for me. Um, but that's because I've already gone through this process. What you're going to have to do on your side uh, is it will have you uh, agree to the terms and uh, terms of service through Apple. So just click the box. If you want to read the stuff, read the stuff and click on the, the OK button. That way everything's good to go. The second thing you're going to want to do, once you've done that, you're going to have a couple blank things there. Uh, all these will not be there at that time. You're going to go back into ClickFunnels, and then you're going to come up here to your settings. Uh, not that settings. You're going to come up here to this set. Everything looks a little bit different since they uh, upgraded to Actionetics MD. That's the big new upgrade, okay? So what you're going to do, come up here to the settings drop down. Come down here to payment gateways. All right. So uh, if you don't have Stripe already set up, you'll have to add a new payment gateway and make sure that you're set up through Stripe. But assuming you've already got that set up, you've already gone through that process, what you're going to want to do, you probably already have Stripe set up. I've only got my one Stripe account set up here. Come over here to the edit icon. Um, now, what I had to do right here, there's a button that says add Apple Pay for domains. All you have to do is click on add Apple Pay for domains. I already did that, and that is what made all of these pop up here. So what that's doing is the API is talking back and forth to Stripe. ClickFunnels are going back and forth having having a beer together, whatever it is that they're doing in the background, and they're adding all those domains in for you on your behalf. All right. So that's the second part of what you have to do. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Browse Funnels. And I'm going to go to one of my uh, one of my funnels, direct to PMA. This is our, our support group. And I've got an order form page. So you'll see, and you will not see, there's a new element that popped up on the order form type. So you, in order for this to work, you've got to be on an order form type. I'm going to go to Edit Page. All right, so here's, this is for our enroll in Funnel.Works private membership. Any of you guys who want some additional assistance can come here to this page, in fact, and, and get this. Uh, but what I'm going to show you guys here is, uh, in fact, I'm going to delete this because I'm going to add it back in and show you where it was. Um, down here, people that are enrolling in your program still have to enter their information, but if they have Apple Pay or Android Pay set up on their mobile device, what happens is that credit card information is saved on that device. So what's going to happen is if and when that information is detected, uh, it's going to give them the option to put their thumbprint into the phone and then it'll make the payment on their behalf because that credit card information or debit card information is already on file. So in order to make that work, though, you have to add in a new element. So I'm just going to add it in just below the credit card here, add new element, um, and you'll see a new thing that popped up here, Apple Android Pay, right? So I'm going to, again, here's what I did to get there, just add a new element, click on the orange plus button, Apple Android Pay is a new element, so we're going to click on that. Now you'll see it says Apple or Android Pay will display here when available, so when it's detected, it will make that option available, okay? So, uh, we're just going to hit save. Um, it's not going to show anything on desktop, but if you have a mobile device, after you make these changes and updates to your order form pages, this is really good for tripwires, then what you can do is go to a mobile device and check that to make sure that it works. All right, I'll hit preview just for the fun of it, but uh, hey, something did pop up. Look at that. So, <laughs> it does work even on my Mac. So, when available... Um, that information will be there, and then you can go in and make your payment using the Pay Now button. Okay, so that's all I had. Um, I hope that this helps, and I uh, hope that you guys are going to be enjoying all of the new upgrades that come out with ActionNXMD. Um, this video is on YouTube, so down in the description, I'm going to leave 
uh, some links to Action NXMD. So if you guys want to make that upgrade, you guys can go ahead and, and make that upgrade. If you guys are ClickFunnels users, if you're not, I'll leave a link down there so you guys can get a, at least get a 14-day free trial and start playing around with this stuff. Okay? Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in another video.